I'm now in the city of Munster, northwest Germany, and it's so beautiful. I've never been here before, but I'm already enchanted. <laughs> of Munster is super vibrant, super important, super interesting. There's so many museums where I can learn more, but here's a very short overview. In the 6th century, there was a small settlement, Mimigana Fort, and in the 8th century, Pope Leo III, he founded the diocese here, laying the foundation for it growing continuously. It is a famous bike town. Everywhere you go and look, there's bikes, there's bike lanes. You can go right out in the country, in the city center, wherever you want. And there's plenty of places where you can rent a bike. It's included in the Munster card if you have it. Otherwise, just uh, go find one of the main rental places. When you're in the city of Munster in North Germany, you have to visit the old town hall because it has a very important, not so secret room, which you have to visit. It's only two euro to go in there. Oh, it's included in the Munster card if you have that one. And it's a quick visit, but super impactful for 17th century European politics and history. Because in here, the 1380 year war was ended after a lot of turmoil in Europe. There's been a lot of wars and sieges and it stopped in here because of the power of politics and diplomacy and actually talking about things instead of killing each other which was major back then so you can visit it learn a little bit more about it and during world war ii this building was sadly bombed and the entire room destroyed but they were clever enough to just hide away all of the important panels and paintings and what made the room the room so now they could put it back and you can see it in all its glory stairs to get up there and a the public can't go it's only for the tower watch woman and who she decides upon to join her for a little bit I got the pleasure and the honor of going all the way up there it was tough but it was so worth it the view from up there is spectacular sunsets are phenomenal and it's impressive how dedicated the watch woman is in preserving the history the traditions and also keeping the city safe city center of Munster. I want to go outside because there's so many places where you can go bike and there's one specific place, House Blue House, and I'm going to tell you after I get there why it's so important. sitting at the house Rüschhaus in the north of Münster. It's famous for its architecture because this is late Baroque and the architect was famous but that's not it. Because a famous authoress resided here, it was one of her many homes. She was of noble birth, she wrote poems, she wrote novels, she just loved literature and producing something of a more sublime, thoughtful, dark nature and she was utterly unpopular during her time and afterwards, after her death sadly, she became popular and actually acclaimed. Personally, I haven't read anything of her yet, but I totally will after this trip because she sounds like a very interesting person. She had a very interesting hobby, which was knocking on stones to check if there are like minerals or gems or anything. And yeah, she just loved to write all the time. And uh, yeah, this was one pretty home. I love it. Let's explore. 
sadly the tours are through because you can only enter the house with a guided tour which is a couple of times a day except for Mondays and uh, that leads me to just go to the nearby castle because that was also home of Annette von Droste zu Hülshof, the authoress and I hope the weather stays like it is right now and it doesn't rain so gotta go quick Is the castle Hülshof, where Annette von Droste zu Hülshof lived in the beginning of her life. There was her family residency where she grew up and you can imagine this must have been pretty nice because it's a cute little water castle and there's some gardens and now there's a museum and a restaurant. <music> And what you will also find on the estate is a small tea pavilion as well as deer. You can watch them graze and look pretty. You can see some antlers growing right now because autumn is approaching. And that was the castle Hushof in Munster. So, and that was the castle in Hushof outside of Munster. I have to make my way all the way back, which is painful because I'm sort of shape I'm already aching but that's the beauty of biking it uses your muscles which you never use so I should really do that more often and if you love doing that Münster is the place to be it used to be the bike capital of Germany right now it's Karlsruhe but they're trying to get the title back so watch out for Münster if you love biking and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go back to the city now See you later. And when you're done for today with your biking, you can just go to the palace or come to the Aze, which is just here. You can rent a boat, you can just chill in one of the many restaurants and enjoy the sunset. Or you can go where I'm going, which is the Kreativkai, at another canal over there just a 50 minute bike ride and there's lots of cool cafes and restaurants and apparently graffiti as well I don't know how much I can see because the sun's setting and I'm so tired I just want to refresh myself with a nice cool drink <music> The music is really loud, so I'm just gonna do the sign off right here. I hope you like my video, like and subscribe, and enable notifications if you want to see more. There's travel videos every week about Malta, about Bali, about Germany, you know, wherever I'm traveling. Also, check out the blog for updates on travel tips and in depth guides. I hope you liked it. Click through to my playlist on other Germany videos and check out Münster in Germany, right? So, stay travel tastic and bye. from all oh.